Today, leaders are trying to figure out what the future of City Hall looks like. In our Price of Paradise series, we highlight stories about the challenges we all face and the solutions. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska got a tour of Crystal River City Hall, which is still empty because of the storm. This is Crystal River City Hall, but it's been abandoned because they got about a foot of storm surge from Hurricane Idalia. This is the cashier, water and sewer, public works. No one's here. Everyone is off site right now because they can't come back in. And the mayor telling me now he wants to build a brand new structure right here to be more resilient for future storms. Every property in Crystal River is in a flood zone. In August, the streets turned into rivers. The historic district underwater, this is City Hall. If we had a structure elevated above the flood uh, zone, uh, we'd be open the next day. Crystal River Mayor Joe Meek gave us a tour of the building, now just a shell. It wasn't just the storm surge, but the water mixed in with raw sewage, contaminating everything. We can clean it all up, move back in here, and it can flood uh, tomorrow, next week, next year. And it's not a question of if it's going to happen, it's when. Idalia isn't the only storm to flood City Hall. Back in 2016, Hurricane Hermine did too, and the no-name storm of 1993. Meek wants to demolish the building, start from scratch, building higher, stronger, and more resilient. We want to be the poster child, and we want to show how, again, you can live in a coastal community. You can operate your business in a coastal community. There's things that you can do to mitigate and protect yourself from the flooding. Uh, and we want to set that example. Businesses around City Hall also flooded, and this weekend, many are looking forward to the 36th annual Crystal River Scarecrow Fest. It's even por more important this year, clearly, because our businesses lost about a month of revenue. Um, so for us to be able to get them into the downtown, spend money in the stores, as well as our, some of our local vendors that will be there as well. In Crystal River, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.